Rizzo here from Sequoia Designs doing a water bag test to show you what a bag almost full. It's not, I didn't even fill it all the way. Um, see how much, how long it takes to get. Let's go for, uh, let's go for two liter of water and we'll just keep filling it and see how long it takes to, uh, expend in the bag and or fill up two liter bottles. I think, the, uh, using a platy bag would also be a good way to show you how to do this and I will show you out in the backcountry how to use, uh, uh, platy bags, but I'm at home right now, so I'm just going to use a ga uh, Gatorade bottle to show you. Um, how fast you get two liters to start, and then from there, if you want to uh, continue, get more water. Which, uh, if you're in the desert, you will need. And I, I think this works great in the desert because you actually go for, you, you know, you might need to get like six to eight liters of water at a time. So <clears throat> it works really good for that. You fill it up a couple times and let it do its thing while you're changing out your socks and drying out your feet and your so shoes and such. But uh, up here in Washington, I usually just use it as an inline filter and. Uh, I'll show you how to do that too, where you just connect this to your bag and then just drink out of it. And then I'll show you different ways to connect this piece right here to uh, platy bags and uh, different ways to get water out of it. But this is just a quick way, uh, ideally, to hang it in a tree and then have this almost touch the ground is the way to go, if you can find a way to do that. And then I'll show you different ways to connect this too, so you can adjust it. So um, if you need to, you can uh, lower it a little bit or raise it a little bit. It's a little bit tricky, but this works just the best to have it so it almost touches the ground here that way when you go to connect your platy bag um, your platy bag will end up uh, connecting to it and uh, I'll show you that too here how that works so but let's just see how fast we can get the the water here okay let's uh, undo the hook see you get a good flow rate going right away so stop that start the watch Get her going. This is a Frontier Pro water filter by Aquamira hooked up to a water bag that I sew and designed the connection here and the bag is square and you can use it several different ways to get water and I'll show you a couple videos on how to get water out of lakes, streams, and rivers. Okay. See here, get this guy going. So we'll just uh, empty this out every time it gets full, and we'll see how long it takes to get a couple liters of water. I'll leave that there. And again, if uh, you're in a hurry, if you top this off and keep it full as it's filtering, there'll be more water pressure on it. So it will filter faster because it has more press back pressure on it. So if you have your drinking another drinking device or whatever you have, like a platy bag or something else you're filling, you can take this and top it off and it will filter faster. But it's not really necessary, in my opinion, because uh, if you change out your filters every, say, 150 to 200 miles or when they start to get slow, you won't have a problem with uh, getting water out of it. As you can see, the water comes out fairly fast. So, we'll see where we're at right now here. We're at a minute. 45, I think, is going to get, going to get full. It usually takes about two minutes. In a platy bag, it might take a little longer because it's not it's flowing into something that's compressed and has to fill up a little bit. So, this is going to be full at two minutes. Well, 152, 153, or 55, it's full. Okay, so, get that. Dump it out. Put that back in there. Go for another round. And uh, in my opinion, I, it does slow down as the water uh, tends to get less in it because you are dealing with uh, less pressure. So again, if you have like a couple bottles or in fact, if you're filling a, pl a platy bag is what I usually fill, um, then you'll have one of these Gatorade bottles off to the side. And if you use my cook system, then you'll have a um, a mug that has no top on it that you can scoop water out of a lake fairly well and use to top that off too. So this has a pre-filter in it as well, so it does take out a lot of the dirt and scum. Um, but this is the Frontier Pro, and by special order, if you want, I can make it so I can hook a different uh, system of uh, tubing up to it, which will allow you to hook a Kitaden 
uh, Hiker Pro into it, but uh, it uses a little bit of different threading on the top. This has an open hole in the very top, so the water, in my opinion, comes in faster, and this works, in my opinion, pretty quick. So here we are at two liters. We're getting closer to two liters, and we're at three minutes and twenty. So if you were out in the desert and you needed to get water, at this point I'd probably top the bag off um, to speed things up. But if you're just relaxing, changing out your shoes and cooking a meal, you can just set it and forget it. So now it sounds like an infomercial, but it's true. You can just walk away from this thing and let it do its thing, especially if you're filling a platy bag. Because once it's full, it will stop filling because the platy bag will get sealed, so it will stop filling. All right. So that was like around, got full around 350 I believe, so around 4 minutes if you want to round it out. So it looks about um, a Gatorade bottle every 2 minutes, so a liter every 2 minutes, which isn't too bad. Let's see if we can uh, top another one off by the 6 minute mark. That would be 3 Gatorade bottles, that's pretty good. That would be one platypus bag, I believe. Three liters, yeah. Or, yeah, I carry three liter... Two, when I hike through the desert, I carry two three liter platy bags, and I tend to fill both of them. So I have six liters on me for a 20 mile day. So this would work pretty good for getting your water. Especially if you just didn't want to have to sit by a stream and pump it, especially if you're going after six liters. Having to pump all that and carry a pound filter is not cool in my opinion and to top it off this is very versatile so this is a inline filter as well um, you can use it to uh, just connect right to your platy bag this threading will connect right to your platy bag take this tubing off of the bag and uh, turn it around basically and use this as your pinch valve and you can just drink right out of it if you're in a hurry uh, also if you want to bleach your water or filter or do any chemical treatment to it you can do that and then drink through it and uh, this will pull some of the chlorine out or whatever you use so this is pretty quick I mean we're uh, topping off right now three liters at 550 so I'm gonna stop it right there and yeah there's not much really left in there so I mean if you look at it like that a new filter will filter a liter every two minutes about a little bit quicker but yeah about every two minutes so um, with that said I from my experience with this I carried it on the Wonderland Trail and then I also carried it on the PCT uh, in Northern Oregon um, so I did about 150 miles on one and after that it started to get a little bit sluggish but I did have a night where it froze and I was reading the instructions that it's not supposed to freeze and I could damage the integrity of the filter. So after that night it did slow down pretty bad. So if you're going to be up where you might encounter freezing temperatures, you might want to keep this in the bottom of your sleeping bag or something like that so that doesn't happen because I think I ruined mine like that. But I've had people say that they drank through theirs for 2,000 miles as an inline filter. So I'm not sure exactly how long it will last as a gravity filter, but... Um, if it slows down and it starts to get sluggish, I would replace it, but for 20 bucks to make it 150 to 200 miles, I don't think that's bad for peace of mind of a filter that will get out 99% of Jardian and Cryptosporism. But it doesn't do viruses, so you still have to treat your water, so if you treat your water and you're in a hurry, you can just fill your platy bag, treat it with bleach, connect this to it, turn this around after you take this off of there, like so. Take that off, connect it to your platy bag, and connect this to the filter, like that. So that goes to your bag. If you're hiking along, you just drink out of it, and uh, your water's already treated for viruses, and then anything else that'll come through will get stuck. But uh, this filter works pretty good in my opinion.